Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Exploring Photography right here on Adorama TV. I'm Mark Wallace, and in today's episode, I'm going to show you how you can use Adobe Premiere Rush to quickly create professional videos and post them on social media. Adobe Premiere Rush is exactly that. It is a purpose-built application made for people who are professionally creating video for social media and YouTube, all that kind of stuff, to do that quickly and professionally it's a really amazing product. So let me show you exactly how to use it. It's really simple. It's part of the Creative Cloud. So anything that you start on your desktop, it's gonna be able to be edited on your uh, tablet or your phone. And it doesn't matter if you're on a Windows or uh, Mac or if you're on Android or iOS. It works with all of that. It's really cool. And the interface that I'm going to show you today looks the same across all of those platforms with maybe a few little exceptions here and there. But what I'll show you here, it's going to show you the same thing on all the other platforms. So to create a project, open Premiere Rush, click on Create Project. The first thing it's going to ask you to do is to add media. So I have already uh, marked a favorite here, a little directory. And all I'm going to do is go in and tell Premiere Rush which clips that I want. And so I've got my friend Anna walking on the beach. That'll be the first one here. I've got this little dog on the beach that's a second a couple of clips here uh, loading my motorcycle onto a boat and then sailing so i've got these eight clips here and then you can see at the very bottom here uh, you, those show up in a row and if i say create it will prepare the media and just like that i have a video that is ready to go Okay, the thing is, this is a 10 minute video. I want it to be about a minute and a half to two minutes. So I need to do some editing and trimming. Well, on the timeline down here, it's a little bit different than Adobe Premiere Pro because it's a magnetic timeline. So what I can do here is I can use the plus or minus keys to zoom in, or you can pinch in and out if you're on a, a tablet or PC or a phone. So I'm just gonna scroll through here and find, uh, this is my friend Anna walking on the beach where I want this to start, about right here. So I can grab this handle, pull that over, and then the timeline automatically readjusts. So what I'll do is I'll go to the end here, I'll have her stop right about there, get rid of this clip, and notice everything moves along with the clip. It's magnetic, you don't have to worry about fixing any of the gaps. This dog here will start about right there, take that chunk out, we'll end it maybe about right there, okay. Take all of that out. And that's how you edit this stuff. It's really cool. So if you want to reorder something, so this uh, this clip right here of this still, maybe I wanted to put it between these. I just drag it over there. Now it's between these two things. If I want to move it back, just move it back. And so the timeline is automatically readjusting everything else around those. So it's really easy to edit. So what I'm going to do to save time is I've already trimmed all of these clips. And so we're going to dive in to where I've done that. With the power of editing, I have now trimmed all of those clips. I can scrub through here. You can see that everything is much shorter. This now is a project that's one minute and 17 seconds. So it's pretty close to being a perfect social media length. So what I need to do now is let's start working with the audio. All the different things, the effects, the audio uh, uh, resizing, things like that can be found on the right hand side of Rush. So we have titles, we have effects, we have color correction, we have speed ramping to slow things up or speed things up, really cool, audio, and then we can crop and rotate. So some very basic animation that we have here. So the first thing I wanna do is fix the audio. So we can hear that this has lots of water sounds and Anna talking. Okay, I don't need any of that. So what I want to do here is the first thing I want to do is sort of show you that there's more than just video here. There's actually audio as well. So there's a little button right here. It says expand audio. I will click that. Now you can see these audio clips that are attached to the video files. So these first two clips here, I'm just going to drag, highlight those. I don't want any audio at all. I want to just mute that. So it's easy. I just go over here to the audio tab, click on that, click mute. Now these first two, see they're grayed out. There's no audio at all. It's just silent um, uh, video. These other clips here, they're sort of noisy. I don't want to delete all of the audio. I just want to lower it considerably. So I have this basic audio here. I'm going to take the clip volume down by to 30, so 30%. 
And because I've selected all of those, all of those clips are now down to 30. So we still have some ambient sound, but it's not super loud. Now what we want to do is we need to add some music to this. Well, it looks like there's no way to put music on here because we only have one track, one timeline, but we actually have four different tracks that we can work with. To see those, there's this little button down here and it says control tracks. If I click on that, you can now see that we have one, two, three, four video tracks and one, two, three, four audio tracks. We can do some really cool things here. So let's add some audio. So I'm gonna click the plus here, add media, and it's gonna ask me what I wanna do. So this is going to my uh, directory here that I've been working in, loading Shifty on the boat. I could go to the media browser to go to a different directory if I want. But, uh, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go down to Artlist Music. So that's a favorite I've marked. It's a directory. And then there's a, uh, a little album here that I really like, Paradise Island. And then here is a track that I think will work. Let's see. Right next to it, there's this little icon that I can hit, and then I can play this. Yeah, that's cool. So what I'll do is I'll say add to selection, add, boom, there it is. It is automatically added to this track. So then I can uh, close this. Now I wanna close all this as well. So I'll hit this X, so I have the maximum amount of space. Now when I play this, I've got cool music. All right, notice that this is way too long. So what I can do is go to the very end here, get my scissors, click, get this, hit delete on my keyboard, and then that's just the same length as my audio, which is really cool. So now I have an audio to my video. Let's start adjusting audio for everything else. So if I click on this audio and go over here, notice that auto volume is checked and it's automatically detected that this is a music type of audio. If I click on uh, this clip up here of the boat, notice that it says the audio type is other. We can change that to music or voice or other. Later, you're gonna understand why that's important so that we can start working with volumes between clips. For right now, we're just gonna let Rush do its thing because it's doing it really, really well. All right. What we need to do now is we need to make these clips a little bit more appealing. So right now they're just going from one to the next and they're just making cuts. I don't like that. I want them to dissolve from one to the other. So that's really easy. Again, I'm just gonna drag and highlight all of these clips here. I'm gonna go to the effects panel, click, and then I'm gonna click on the transition cross dissolve. That's adding a cross dissolve to every single clip. If I close that, now I will zoom in. You can see that there's little, little whoops, there's little gray here between these two clips showing that it's dissolving between. These cross dissolves, you can click, you can make them a slower or a shorter cross dissolve. So you can edit all those things as well. I'll use the minus key to zoom out. I will show you one thing that you have to be careful of. At the very, very first, since I just selected everything, it put a cross dissolve on the very, very first, so it's gonna fade in from black. I don't want that, so I'm just gonna click this dissolve and hit delete to get rid of that. So it's just gonna start like this. Okay, so now we've got things dissolving between each other. That looks cool. All right, we need to start doing some other things. These images here are okay, but wouldn't they be better if they did the Ken Burns effect they zoomed in and out? Well, let's do that. So I'm gonna choose both of those. I'm going to go over here to the effects panel, bonk, and then I'm going to click on pan and zoom. That's all there is to it. So now they automatically pan and zoom, which is cool. Now right now, that's a brand new feature in Adobe Premiere Rush. There's no ability to change how those are zooming or which direction they go. Um, and so that's coming later in a different release and maybe in a couple of months. But for now, you can turn that on and it's automatic. It's pretty cool. I like that. Now we need to add titles to this. We need to make sure that we know what all this is. So I'm gonna go here almost to the very beginning of this. I'm gonna click over here on the right-hand side, title. Now here is a really cool thing. 
you're not a designer, it doesn't matter because Adobe Premiere Rush has a ton of uh, templates here. So you can look in here and these styles are really awesome. You can search uh, by maybe title and it'll show you all the titles. You can maybe search social media, it'll show you social media tags, whatever. There's just tons of different things that you can use. When you find things that you like, you can select those and put it a little star there to set it as a favorite, which is what I've done. So what I'm going to do is I have selected this title right here, this line and push right as a favorite. And so I'm gonna just click it, drag it onto the screen, and then you can see it's on my timeline. If I scroll through, you can see how that, uh, that title animates on. I wanna change this text and stuff. So I just double click on that, and then I'm gonna uh, say, um, sailing to the San Blas Islands. All right, I don't like that text uh, font. No problem, I can change the font. So I'm gonna make this one of my favorite, Baba's New Pro, and I don't want that to be thin. I want it to be extra bold, expanded bold. There we go. That's pretty cool. It's small, so I can change the font size. I can make it mm, maybe something like that. Okay, cool, I'll click off of that. It's not where I want it to be on the screen. That's okay, I can click and drag it, maybe down here. And now I've got a groovy title that comes on. Pretty cool. All right, we need to put a bunch of other titles on there. I've already done that, so let me load in that timeline and we'll keep going. So now we have edited our timeline, we've uh, trimmed clips, we've added transitions, we've added titles, we need now to add some voiceovers and work with audio. And then I'll show you a couple extra really cool things that you can do with this. So if we look here, you can see that on the timeline now I have this very first title and a couple other ones that I added on here. And then even at the end, we have this uh, mark on a bike. This is my custom logo. This is a, um, a template that I created in Adobe Premiere Pro, but because I have Creative Cloud, I can use it in Rush as well. And so it shows up in Adobe Rush. So if you're a Premiere Pro user and you're creating uh, animations, you can just use them in Adobe Rush as well. It's really, really helpful. All right, so how do we create a voiceover? Well, I've got my external mic all hooked up to my computer. You can use your built-in uh, microphone. You can use your iPhone's microphone. You can use a Bluetooth microphone hooked up to your tablet. Whatever microphone you have will work here. So to do this, what I'm gonna do is click on the control uh, tracks here so by uh, uh, expanding those. And then I wanna mute the tracks that have music and uh, audio. So I don't wanna have those coming into my microphone when I'm doing this voiceover. So what I'll do here is I'm gonna go over to where the dog is right there. I'm going to click on this uh, speaker right here to mute the audio from this track and mute the music from this track, just so I don't hear it playing back when I'm making my recording. Then I'm gonna tell Rush which track to use for my voiceover, which is track three. So I've clicked on that little microphone. Now it's time for me to do a voiceover. So I'm going to click on this. It's gonna count down. This little dog is so much fun. He played all over the beach while we went out and swam in the turquoise water right by our sailboat. It was just wonderful. Okay, now I'm going to unmute these other tracks and you'll see that there's a problem with the audio. So we need to be able to fix the levels here, but let me just play this back for you really fast. This little dog is so much fun. He played all over the beach while Okay, so the music is too loud. How do we fix that? Well, guess what? Rush is gonna do it for, uh, for us automatically. So what I will do here is, if I click on the voiceover and go back over here to the audio panel, notice that it is auto-detected that it's voice. It knows that it's a voiceover, it knows it's voice. I can tell it, hey, I'm a dude, enhance my voice to make it sound a little bit better. If there's some buzzes or uh, things in the background, I can uh, reduce the background noise. If there's an echo in a room, I can reduce that. Uh, so it's really cool. I can do all of that kind of stuff there. So I'm just gonna leave that. What I need to do is fix the music. So I'm gonna click on the music here 
And then I'm going to zoom in I'm using again the plus key so you can sort of see this. I want the music to uh, fade down when the voiceover starts and fade back up when it's done. So just to make this really tight, I'm going to trim this voiceover just a bit, just so it just starts and ends. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going again, I've clicked on the music and I'm going to click on this auto duck. So ducking is a term that's used when you lower the music when somebody talks and raise it back up after they're done and lower it again when they talk and raise it back. It's you're ducking. You're ducking that music so that the person can talk. So auto ducking Adobe Premiere Rush automatically does it for you. So I have chosen that and I'm going to say, hey, reduce the volume by about 65%. Now, if you look closely here, I'll make this go out. You'll see that there is a little uh, line here that shows the music is going down where the voice is and then comes right back up. That's the ducking. So I will zoom out. Now listen to this automatically. This little dog is so much fun. He played all over the beach while we went out and swam in the turquoise water right by our sailboat. It was just wonderful. All right. Now that I have auto ducking on, watch this. I'm going to add another voice over here really, really fast. So it's there's a gap here. So I'm going to add a little voice over right here. Here we go. Three, two, one. It was terrifying to put my motorcycle on this tiny boat, but luckily everything turned out fine. Okay, I'll trim that up just to make sure it's good. Now look at you can see that it automatically ducked for this second voiceover. Once you have it set up, it's automatically going to do that. That is pretty much all you need to know to edit in Adobe Premiere Rush. There are two more things I want to show you really quickly because they're really uh, groovy. You don't need to know them, but they're really awesome. And that is this color correction here. And then um, we're going to talk about the speed. But if you notice on this very first thing, uh, I have changed the color of this clip. So I'm going to hide these tracks here and collapse that. So it's very, very small. So what happened here is notice that this is sort of washed out this video of Anna here. And then this is really saturated. So I'm going to balance those colors. So this first thing here, I can use a look. So that's a Kodak look that makes it really saturated. But then I can go in and I can actually go in and change the color temperature to make it warmer or cooler, the vibrance. I can change saturation. You can change uh, the sharpening and you can add a vignette or not. You can do all the things. So if you're a Lightroom person, you probably are familiar with all those things. Once you get it where you want it, you can click the ellipsis here and save that as a preset to use over and over. And that's what I did. So I named this Anna Beach. And so there you have it. We have a look that looks good. So that's off. That's on. You can see that difference. The other thing that we can do here with this clip I want Anna to slow down when she's walking. I want her to sort of walk in slow motion here. So we have this little time thing. And so what I've done here, I will zoom way in. See, we have a clock here and a clock here. And what I did is I said, start here. I can move this little clock in here. And I want you to slow this down by 35%. So I want her to, to walk really, really slow. I want this to ramp up. So five seconds, slow down, make her walk slow, and then come back to normal speed. And so that's what I've done. So on this clip, Anna is walking slow. See, she slows way down, and then she goes back to normal speed. So if you're doing really kind of sports action-y stuff, you might have a bike slowing. Speed ramping. It's built into Adobe Premiere Rush. It's really cool. All right, now that your project is done, how do you get it out there? Well, it's really easy. You click share, and then all you have to do is name this. Choose where you want it to go, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Behance, and you can just use the presets. If you're saving it to a local file, there's tons of presets that are built in, and then you click export. You're done. That's it. That is Adobe Premiere Rush. I hope this was useful. It's a little bit longer video tutorial that we went really fast, but 
get something that you can use to save yourself a ton of time if you're creating a lot of content and you have to do it rapidly, Adobe Premiere Rush is going to be the tool for you. Well, thanks so much for joining me for this episode of Exploring Photography. Don't forget to subscribe to Adorama TV. It's absolutely free. Click on the bell so you get notifications. We've got new stuff going live all the time. You don't want to miss out on that. So make sure you have the notifications turned on. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.